Hi guys, I'm Elise and you're watching the I Fucking Love Science show. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. We're all here because we fucking love science. Now it might surprise you to learn that not everyone fucking loves science. There are a lot of people out there that really, really do not fucking love science. And for some strange reason, all of them feel the need to message me and tell me all about this. Now again, this might surprise you, but I receive a lot of hate mail. Particularly when I post about certain topics, there are some hot button topics that I have learned will lead to a flurry of emails in my inbox. These are so-called controversial topics like evolution, climate change, vaccines, things that aren't even vaguely controversial in the scientific community, but in the general media and to the non-scientific community, they can still be perceived as controversial. Some of this hate mail is constructive, which I appreciate. I always appreciate because I'm always getting better. I'm always learning and I always appreciate criticism. Some of it is aggressive. Some of it is rude. Some of it is threatening. Some of it is crazy, some of it is all of those things, and some of it is just plain hilarious. I've been running the page now for about 16 months, and I have gotten some absolutely hilarious messages, and today I'm going to share some of them with you. So I hope they make you laugh as much as they made me laugh. Where shall I start? So some of the best crazy messages I receive are from conspiracy theorists. These people believe that the government or pharmaceutical companies are all hiding the cure for cancer or the government's concealing the fact that we didn't really land on the moon or, or anything. Honestly, it can be about anything. And I receive some absolutely cracking messages from some of these people. So here's a couple of the best ones. I can't believe the ignorance of this post, this bastardization of science. Did they also discover the earth was flat again? Gut infections are caused by acidic pH from poor diet. Alzheimer's is curable, so is AIDS. Vaccines are never good unless you like mercury and neurotoxins. Black holes are easily understood with the absence of thermodynamics and Newtonian physics. I fucking love pseudoscience should be your name. Wake up and get a clue. These people tell me to wake up a lot. Do they think I'm sleepy or something? Because I'm not, I'm wide awake. And then of course there are the people that complain about the name. Most of these are just just don't like the name, you know, they're too precious to hear the word fucking all day and that's fine, that's your choice. Some of them get a little bit strange about it. I fucking hate it that you're so crude and disrespectful that you use the word fucking in your title. Get some class, dirtbag. Looking real classy yourself there, sir. And then there are the people that feel intimidated by science. They feel that science looks down on them in some way and they get very angry about this. You are a typical snooty science bitch. Please ignore me and have your fucking page ignore me. I truly wish your favourite family member comes down with some disease that science cures with a simple shot, the say, after they are in the ground and covered with dirt. Climate change is always a fun one. I used to love this site because I love science, but it's gotten so environmentalist wacko I can't stand it anymore. Block and fuck you, IFLS, eat shit and die. <laughs> So some of you might remember this next post. It was a school test that was apparently given in a Christian school. It made its way around the entire internet. I posted about it and I posted some things about creationism in schools, some legislation that's trying to be forced through to get creationism taught in schools. This got a lot of people very, very angry. Stop trying to force people to believe that the world is millions of years old. If that quiz was posted, it could came from a Christian school teaching Christian science from God. And apparently you're as twisted as the science you read because the world is in fact only about 20,000 years old. If you're trying to say the scientists to use carbon dating, you'd know that carbon dating gas in fact being proved wrong as a way to tell how old something is. But I'm guessing you're like Einstein and shit and think you're the smartest dude alive. Let others be and stop trying to force what you believe on others, you absurd schmuck. Now this last one, I'm not even really sure what he was trying to say. I'm going to be charitable here and I'm gonna assume that he speaks a different language and that he ran this through some sort of Google Translate and it mangled it a little bit because this literally makes no sense. Science site. Please don't name it a science site. Already take a picture with a whole phrase comment from the admin. Not funny, not deep, not intelligence. I will become depressions when hard sucks lesbians pray over you that your work is really important. Now, I don't know what that is, but it kind of sounds fun. I'd like to hear interpretations of that in the comment section. If you could let me know what you think he's trying to say, I'd appreciate it. So those are some of my favorite messages from the last 16 months. Those are the ones that really make me laugh. I hope they've made you laugh too. And in the spirit of making me laugh, I would like it if you guys could leave me a comment. I would like you to write me some hate mail. <laughs> I want you to make it as crazy and as funny and as bizarre as is humanly possible. The one that makes me laugh the most, I'll send you a free t-shirt. So show me what you got. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon.